Hello Year 7 and uh, welcome back to uh, a new term, the summer term. Um, I hope you managed to get out and enjoy some of that lovely weather that we had, even if you couldn't go and see your friends and so on. Um, it'll all be over um, sometime soon, so don't worry too much about it. But it's lovely to be talking to you again. We're starting a new module today, which I'll explain in just a minute. But before that, just look at this picture and uh, write down three words which come to mind when you look at this picture. Just any three words. Here's three that I've done, um, just small, because it's a small uh, village. Um, it's pretty, isn't it? It's nice looking and also it's old. All those houses look very old. Those are just my three. Um, I'm sure you've got different ones. Right, now we've done that, I'll tell you a little bit about the, uh, um, the what are we going to be doing this half term. Um, before we go any further with that, though, on the top of my slide there, of the slide, is my email address. So uh, any problems you have or any regarding any of this work at all, any feedback you want on it, feel free to email me on that address. And that goes for your parents, too, if they need any clarity on anything. Our learning objective today is to begin the village project, um, which is one of my favorite, what well, is my favorite uh, module with year seven. It's really good fun um, and uh, you'll see as we go along. As ever, don't write the learning objective in, uh, just write the title in. We're gonna be naming our village and deciding on a role for each of us. So we're going to, uh, well, just write that title in, naming our village and deciding on a role for each of us uh, to play in that village. When you've done that, move on to the next slide. What is a village? I'm sure you've all got your ideas about what that is. But this is what the um, dictionary has to say about it. A group of houses and associated buildings larger than a hamlet and smaller than a town, situated in a rural area. A hamlet's not a word you hear very often these days, but it's like a really, really tiny um, place. You know, there might be two or three houses. Uh, so it's bigger than that, but uh, smaller than a town. And um, absolutely key, it's situated in a rural area. Rural just means out of town, outside in the countryside. Um, I'd like you to write that definition into your books, please. Write the, write the uh, question, what is a village? And then write the answer. A group of houses and associated buildings larger than a hamlet and smaller than a town situated in a rural area. Um, that simply means in the countryside. When you've done that, move the slide on. So what we're going to be doing this term, Year 7, is we're going to create a village. And there'll be all sorts of activities attached to that, map making, uh, lots of drawing, some writing of adverts and, uh, and uh, lots of different types of writing and, and creative work. Uh, I won't list them all now, they'll all become uh, apparent as we move along. So all of our lessons this half term will be based on the village and the characters that we're going to create this week. Um, and specifically today, we're going to be, um, each one of you is going to have a different role within the village and um, we're going to have to come up with a name as well. Um, so when you've uh, um, read that slide and, and listened to what I've said, then move on to the next one. So just to get us thinking about villages, what words come to mind when you think of a village? You know, how, do, how does it look? I mean, that, that, that uh, the do now shows you what a, uh, a village might look like. Um, so how does it look? How, how do you feel when you were there? And what the people who live in a village like, how they might be different to people who live in towns and cities. And when you've had a think about that, I want you to write down five interesting adjectives to describe an English village. And an adjective is simply uh, a word that describes a noun or a describing word. So write down five interesting adjectives to describe an English village. And then as ever, move the slide on. Now, as you know, we're going to create our own village. So what does a village need? I want you to draw a mind map in your book of all the things that you think a village needs. And just to remind you, a mind map is when you have the circle in the middle with the thing that you're doing the mind map on and then lines coming off of it um, with all the different things. So I've got the village needs in the middle there and it needs food, right? So obviously it needs medical care as well. It would need education, all those things. So um, do, do a mind map with as many things you can think of that a village would need. And when you've done that, go to the next slide.
Now, roles in the village, that simply means jobs in the village. Um, I want you to draw another map, mind map now of all the jobs you think would be needed in a village. So on the previous um, mind map, the one I did there said um, food. So you would need a butcher, a baker, um, a sweet shop, um, and all the different types of food that, uh, that people need. Um, so do another mind map of all the jobs you think would be needed. So butcher, baker, uh, doctor, um, you know, um, publican. We've had all sorts of things in the past. I'll leave you to get on with that. So uh, spend some time on that. And while you're doing that, you can be thinking about which one of those jobs you might like to do. OK, now I'd like you to do some uh, research <coughs> Excuse me, into how um, villages get um, quite often the second part of their name, Burn, Mere or uh, Worth or Croft or any of those up there, Castor. In towns and villages in fact um, you can just have a look through and see what the origins of these names are and find out how these places get their names um, you can just google it it's not uh, not a massive task you don't even have to do them all you can just get uh, a feel um, for how it is that uh, villages and towns get their names um, I want you to email me your idea for the name of our village and what job you would like to do and include a brief explanation of explaining why you would like that job. Um, I'll make a list of all these. Um, I'm particularly keen on getting some uh, names allocated for the village that is. So uh, anything you can come up with after your research I'd love to see and uh, I look forward to uh, hearing from you and I will speak to you again soon. Thank you Year 7.